Hello, welcome to Me and My Golf. We're your coaches, Andy and Pierce, and we're here at the Asprey for another My Swing Analysis. We sure are. Now, we need you to get involved, so go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, enter the competition. Let's make 2017 your best ever golfing year. Yes, good luck. Right, we have today Oli Neglerio from California looking to improve his driving. His poor shot is a slice. We have some trackman numbers, and we have his golf swing to take a look at. So, first of all, his slice, he's getting the ball missing target right. Um, his average path pierce is six degrees left, mm -hmm. and his average face to path is five degrees right of the path. Okay. Um, so that's what's causing that this curve. curvature to the right. So let's take a look at his golf swing then and see what's causing these numbers. So let's take a look at his set up not too bad here. Shoulders are a little open at address. We'd like to maybe see those a little squarer. But the first thing we're gonna see in his backswing here is this sort of separation and disconnection. You can see the shaft leaning forward and then the hands and arms moving away from the body causing the face to really early, mm -hmm. um, plenty of early rotation with that face. So as we swing back, you can see the hands are way in front of the body. Halfway back, we can see the butt of the club is sort of way in front of the ball, ball to target line. But also from here, he just really hasn't engaged any of his, his torso pierce. No real wind up, no real rotation of the body. Club face is uh, quite open at the top. And then from there, it's just very difficult now from little rotation of the body to deliver the club from a good yeah. path pierce, but also to actually square the face as well. So as we can see on the way down there, he does a pretty good job, but he just finds it very hard to get the club from a good path. And as we can see there, that club face is still a little open through the golf ball through impact there. So if we can change this move away pierce, get mm -hmm. his body a little bit more involved, yeah. that's going to help with the face and that's going to also help with the path. So we've got a really good drill that's going to do both at the same time, isn't it really? It's yeah. all about getting the body a little bit more involved for Ollie, isn't it? It is, and I think the one thing that Ollie mentioned as well was that he does a lot of traveling as well, so his body is quite tight, he's aware of that. So, you know, you've got to, best you can, mobilize yourself. So check out Project Golf Fit coming up yes, soon to do go. that. But I think, you know, if we can find little ways in the setup to help with that, then you can always look at that, maybe check some of the videos on maybe just getting the body aiming out to the right a little bit to allow for more turn. But, Andy, look at this alignment stick. Our friends, the alignment sticks, we like using these a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it so it runs down the shaft like so. Take my grip on the golf club. And then you'll notice when I do this, I've got the shaft sort of running onto my belt area. Now, what we're going to ask you to do, Ollie, is to get the alignment stick as you go back to run along the belt for the first part, and then it's going to drag down your leg. So let's just break that down even more and look closely at this. So for the first part of the move away, the alignment stick is going to drag across the belt. Now you can see my hands have got to my trail leg. As they get past my trail leg, then the alignment stick starts to drag down the leg. So this means that the wrists are starting to set. So from there we carry on up. And even now we can see, sort of I'm not even halfway back now. Look how much rotation and wind up I've got in that upper body. A lot more than Ollie has almost at the top of his backswing here. And obviously from there you continue into a full backswing. So I'll do that again one more time slowly. So going across the belt, then going down the leg and getting a good turn. Now it seems quite methodical and stop starty, dot to dot, however you want to call this, but actually eventually it becomes a flow of belt and then leg. So one more time, belt and then leg. Just do it again for me, Pistol. The great thing about this, as Pierce does this, as he keeps that connection, he mentioned the engaging the torso. Now, if you stop halfway back a little bit further on there, Pierce, you'll see now exactly where this is pointing. Now, we saw that Ollie, Ollie's shaft was pointing way outside that target line, yep. and he really hadn't engaged any of the body to turn. So, not only does this help with where that club is pointing, mm -hmm. it's also going to really help engage this core and really get you winding up to deliver the club in a better path and square a face. It's a massive, massive difference between the movement that we want and the movement that Ollie was doing. You can see from there that club just coming well away from the body. Just a quick one, Pierce, just do that first part of the move away for me just to hear. And what we're going to notice here straight away is there's a lot less face rotation as well, which we, we see with Ollie that he really over rotates that early and the hands come out. So this is really going to make a massive difference on just delivering the face to path numbers better as yep. well, Pierce. And I think if you look at a lot of our swing last videos, you'll see that this is a very common theme, isn't it? People getting the club moving away from their body in a bad way, you know, really is important. You know, check your move away, make sure that you're doing a good job of that. Yeah, we always talk about getting the arms synchronized with the body and this, this drill is certainly going to help that. It really does help. Okay, Pierce, right, so let's just show that in, uh, in motion here then, Pierce. Okay, so obviously no alignment stick there now, so the, the handle of the club comes in a little bit better. I think the one thing that Ollie needs to do, obviously we said as well with the alignment, shoulders, yeah. so get the shoulders pointing what feels right to you, Ollie. Maybe even drop the right foot back to help you with that turn. 
but then from there just have a couple of waggles and you can see when I'm doing this now the body is really working hard and I'm priming myself ready for a good wind up and a good hit hopefully a draw Andy okay let's see what you got all right started Down the right, right hand there. side maybe coming back just a little bit there but really felt from there that I was able to get that good wind up into that backswing. Okay, perfect. So, Ollie, some great drills there. That stick move away there is really going to help you, as we mentioned, get the arms more suited up with the body. But certainly, allowing this sort of core area to really wind up is going to help you deliver some better numbers through impact. Hopefully, stop that slice. Definitely. Okay, hope you hope you enjoyed that, guys. Make sure you post any comments and questions down below. And also, remember, if you want to have the chance to win a swing analysis yep. with myself and Pierce, go to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter today and enter the competition. Good luck with that. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's for free. And also go to meandmygolf.com to check out more great videos like this one. Yes, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.